Welcome back to an engineering challenge with Clark Planetarium. We're here in our Clark Planetarium today and we're going to talk about building card houses. And now I'm Cynthia and I've got with me Maureen behind the camera. Hi, hi. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how to think like an engineer. Now for today's challenge, all you're really going to need is some cards. I've just got regular face cards here. You can use any kind of cards that you want. Um, since you're going to be the engineer today, you can use any material you think that'll work best. We use some index cards. You can use different kinds of game cards. Um, but all you need is those cards and some cre creativity. Now, to think like an engineer today, we're going to think first about a building that you've seen. Now, Maureen, have you seen any really cool buildings? Ooh, I've seen some cool buildings and some really tall buildings. Some really tall buildings. It's kind of crazy. The engineers can build things that are so tall that don't fall over. And what's even more, that they have to think about things like earthquakes, wind, and, and just the weight of the building itself. And it's got to stay up right throughout all those things. Now, those things are really important to think about when you're building. And so you got to come up with some creative solutions like an I-beam. Have you seen an I-beam, Maureen? Isn't that kind of like a regular beam, but a little bit cut away? Exactly. So it's called an I-beam because it looks like an eye, and it's got these cross, this cross shape. And the cross shape helps it be really strong without being entirely filled with a really heavy metal. So it still has what we like to call structural integrity without having all that weight. Wait, wait, what's structural integrity? That's a great question. Let's look at one of our houses here. So this is a classic card house. When you look up pictures, this is probably what you'll see. Now, the structural integrity means that when the wind comes and pushes on it, or there's weight on the top, it doesn't actually fall over. The structural integrity means it stays strong, it stays upright. One of the really cool things about this particular build is that it's got these triangles repeated throughout the entire structure. Now, if you look at a triangle, it's got three sides, one here, one here, one here. And the triangles are so strong because most of the weight is coming from the top. If you'll see, the, the points are at the top, so the weight of the cards itself is getting pulled down by gravity, and then you usually have a load here on top. And that load will be pushing on your triangle, and since the shape puts the, the weight out here on the corners. Now that helps distribute the weight and keep it nice and strong. Now, what's more is you can actually add more to this structure. Um, if we come over here and look at our other building, we have a really different shape. Now, this one, Maureen is really good at building. You wanna tell us a little bit about this one, Maureen? Yeah, so this one is different because it doesn't have the triangle. It has a square shape. Now, normally it has a square <laughs> shape. I can show you real quick. You, you pull up your cards like this and you get that fourth one there to balance and you just prop them up against each other. Similar to that one, you're gonna have a repeating shape throughout all these different layers. And then this one has a flat roof that you can add on top like so. And by doing that over and over, you can have a taller building without decreasing the structural integrity. It's still gonna have a really solid, strong shape. And so when you're working on your engineering challenge today, trying to see what kind of structures you can build, think about whether you want something tall and skinny or something wider and flat like this one. We also have kind of a fun shape here, which I like to call the card villa. It's not necessarily a house, but it's got different kinds of layers. Now, if you come over and look at, this is what essentially the base or the core of this structure is. Instead of being a, a square like the other one, this one's another kind of triangle. So you've got the three cards balanced up against each other. And that way, when you put the weight on top here, it's going to, again, spread out that weight a little bit better. So once you've got a, a structure built, however you want to do it, the challenge today is really going to be how much weight can you put on your actual house. Now, this is the same shape as we had with our index cards over here, but it's only one level. And this just helps us have a nice sturdier level to get all these pennies on here. Maureen, how many pennies are on here? Well, right now we have 400 pennies, which is 2.25 pounds if we include the weight of the 14 cards that we've got stacked up here. And I'm so glad you mentioned that because critical load is a really important concept for engineering because not only is it the weight of these pennies, of the load itself, but also just the weight of the structure. 
So the cards have their own weight and it's going to have to hold itself up while also holding up the load. Now, Should we see how much it actually holds? Yeah, because this isn't at critical load yet. No, no, we got to get there. Critical load is when it falls over. It can't withstand it anymore. So I'm going to start with a deck of cards. Let's see if I can get some more pennies on here. I'm just going to pour them on. Now, each penny, I think, is 2.5 grams. That's right, 2.5 grams per penny. That's also the same weight as a double thick Lego block that is two by four. Oh, OK, so you can use Legos or. Yeah, you can use pretty much whatever you want. You could use paper clips. You could use pencils or pens, maybe, if you uh, I think I built my structure too strong. <laughs> it's so strong. You can even, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but the cards are bending, but it's still staying on. Let's see if we, I get some more cards. Oh, we may not reach our critical no load. No critical load. Oh, you have to do it. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That's amazing. Well, let's see. We can even try it with this, this other one here. Let's see if we can reach critical load on this guy. One other thing is how you distribute your weight is really important. If so it's, are you saying slower and more methodical stacking? Oh, more <laughs> yes, because as I was just pouring on, it was shaking my structure a little bit, kind of like an earthquake might, um, and that undermined the structural integrity a little bit. But that's the fun part of today's challenge. You get to build something, you get to be creative, and then you get to see how strong it is. Now, if you're having fun building your house of cards, we also got some awesome things here from our store. Um, they're just engineering challenges and games. You can come check them out. Our store is open on the weekends. Um, and you can check the hours on our website for the most up-to-date times. But we'd love to help you get your hands on some engineering things. Now, we'd also love to see what you build. So we've got these hashtags here, hashtag Clark Planetarium and hashtag engineering challenge. Um, post the pictures of what you build and you create. And, and hashtag them so we can see what you're building. Yeah, whether it stands or not. <laughs> exactly, because every challenge is going to have some trial and error. But have fun building and tune in next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye. This one's pretty heavy. <gasps> oh my God! Oh. <laughs> OK. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, and the villa. <laughs> Amazing.